Hello everyone, I'm Joanna and today I'm going to share with you all what constraint model is all about. The constraint based model is known as the interactive model and as well as the one stitch model. This is because lexical, synthetic and semantic processing all takes place at the same time and not in a linear way. Furthermore, the properties of constraint-based model is that the processor uses multiple sources of information such as synthetic, semantic, discourse and as well as frequency-based information. It is also assumed that there is little or no delay in information availability which means that a person does not need to take a very long time to comprehend or to understand multiple meanings of words. Moreover, the sentences that are strongly supported by the multiple constraints are mostly activated. In a like manner, it is also parallel because when we read a sentence, we are able to come up with multiple interpretations of that sentence and from there we need to be able to narrow it down in order to choose one that is suitable or appropriate. In addition, McRae et al. proposed a connectionist-like model of ambiguity resolution known as the competition integration. The competition between different structures is important because the more committed we are in interpreting a sentence, then the more difficult it is for us to disambiguate a different sentence. To make things clearer, look at the examples given. In sentence 1a, it states, The city council argued the mayor's position forcefully. And in 1b, the city council argued the mayor's position was incorrect. Now, the noun phrase, the mayor's position, is the direct object in 1a, but it is the subject of the complement sentence in 1b. As you saw earlier, the first sentence is much easier to disambiguate compared to the second sentence. And this is because sentence 1b have more words than in 1a, which then causes students to slow down while they are reading. This is the end of the constraint-based model. I hope that as you watch this video, you'll be able to learn something new. Thank you.